Hi guys, today I'm gonna remove the FRP from the Motorola G7. Uh, this method also works on the G7 Power, G7 Play and all of the 9.0 version, Android version and with the latest security of the phones in the Motorola. So as you can see, I'm going to, the, to show you that there's a Google account. It will take a just a sec. Okay, use my Google account instead. So as you can see that it's saying that verify your account with your Google account. This device was reset to continue sign in with a Google account that was previously synced on this device. So as you can see that I'm pressing next, next but it do nothing and it's not going to the welcome screen. So what do you have to do is that you have to just go back. First I will show you that you should have it's compulsory that you should have a an available Wi-Fi network as you can see that my Wi-Fi network is connected so just go back now just go into the go into the language there you have to change your language into this language which you will see I could not spell it okay and the first one so as you can see it's done now just select this option now double tap on the above then on the corner and then the this option plus now you have to search here by pressing the corner button now what do you have to do is that you have to press and hold this globe option as you can see now what do you have to do is that you have to go into the this option okay press this option and now now what you have to do is that you have to go to the first option here you have to select these three dot buttons and then the second option now what you have to do is that you have to select the first option of the switch access and right here we have this thing you have to press on the youtube logo again here you have to go into the share button and then the three dots as you can see that here you have your youtube opened now you have to go into the user now the second one as you can see that now here it's the chrome now I agree not now now what we have to do is that you have to search here as you can see that it's not English language so what do you have to do is that you have to press and hold the space button and you have to search for QWERTY okay you have pressed QWERTY now what you have to do is that you have to type VN ROM bypass sorry VN ROM dot net slash bypass that's the third one as you can see Okay, it's now being browsed. Now what do you have to do is that you have to install three apps. Okay, so what do you have to install is that first of all you have to install the Android, uh, sorry, Android 6 VM APK. I agree. And install this thing. Okay. Okay, now it's installed. Now what do you have to do is that you have to install the FRP by pass.apk It's okay. Okay, now it's also installed. Now you have to install the Apex Launcher. And okay. Now just open the Apex Launcher by going to this option and then turning on this option. Go back and install this thing. Open this. So, okay, as you can see that I am in my launcher now. It's the Apex launcher. Now, what you have to do is that you have to go to the setting. 
you have to first of all change the language okay as it is the main thing so first of all you have to press the the, the bottom is the most bottom one option now this gboard and this is the first one and here you have to go to the plus sign and the english as you can see now you have to press and hold this option and drag downward as you can see that english is now upward so english is now our language now okay now what you have to do is that i am i have done this thing now what you have to do is that you have to go to the setting you have to go to the setting you have to you have to go to the security and location now you have to go to the device admin ads here you have to disable this thing deactivate this admin device admin app okay now what you have to do is that you have to go back again back and again back now search for the files as you can see i have downloaded these things first of all you have to install the android 6 gm apk allow from the source you go back install this thing now done now the frp bypass with apk install this thing also and open this thing now you have to press this three dot option and then the browser sign in now go to the ok here you have to enter your own any of your email address what you can remember so i am just putting my own after this you have to enter your password I'm just entering my password now. Okay, so I have signed into my account. I will show you in the settings accounts. As you can see, this was my um, this was my account which I have which I have signed in. Now what you have to do is that you have to go to the chrome here you have to here you have to right find my device okay now what you have to do is that you have to go to the this find my device google here you have to enter your account which I have entered okay let's go next here you have to I sign in my account okay so as you can see now dismiss it okay just refresh Okay, it's contacting device. Now here's the setup secure and erase. Notification sent. Once it has connect, okay, it can't reach device. Again, do it. Okay, it's now online now. As you can see, it's showing my charging everything. Setup secure and erase. Okay, set of security rails. Okay, let's go back. And go into the second one. This thing. Here you have to sign in.
now your password okay now as you can see Motorola Motorola Moto G7 now first of all lock your phone set a password to lock your screen okay so I would select password 1234 and lock okay so logged by find my device so I will enter my password now what you have to do is that you have to consider erasing your device and you have to just erase your phone this all data it would take a couple of minutes As you can see it's factory reset it now and it's just booting up now to the start of many. As you can see that it's the back of the Motorola Moto G7 so it's a nice one now I'm going start skip here you have to enter your Wi-Fi password okay I'm entering my password zero zero. It's checking for updates. This may take some few minutes. Don't copy. Just a second. Now just skip. more accept skip here you have to just skip this thing okay it's adding finishing touches accept and continue i got permission everything and now as you can see that it's now your phone okay it's completely yours and it is now free from your Google account or FRP Federal Reset Protection. So about phone, it's the Motorola G7 as you can see here. It has the Android version 9. That's why it had a very hard security and latest security. And if I can show you everything. So as you can see system updates updated to Android 9. So that's all your phone and it has completed, I have completed that its FRP is removed. So make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Okay, peace on.